All right. So uh, we are in bab 8, pelarasan, but then under part C, uh, where I'm talking about susut nilai dan susut nilai terkumpul. Okay. So in last class, kita telah bincang tentang susut nilai dengan kaedah garis lurus. Isn't it? This one. Okay, so the formula basically is using the cost. Okay, cost means the, the price. Okay, harga itu yang kamu beli asset. Okay, then the kada susut nilai will be the percentage that is given in the question. So you have to see bila yang awak beli. Okay, if it is in April and your tahun berakhir is on 31st December, then you perlu buat something that we call it as a time apportion. So you have to times berapa bulan, okay, divide by 12. Okay, so that will be for the Garis Luru. So you see, we did the county for SNT, all right. The bus, the account, rugi, and the PKK. So now, when we are going to, we're done question one. So now we will be doing question two. All right, doing question two. So let's see question two. Sebuah mesin telah dibeli dengan harga empat puluh lapan ribu ringgit pada satu Mei dua kosong satu lapan. Mesin tersebut disusunkan dengan kada sepuluh persen. So you can see this is the cost. Alright, this is the kada ten percent setahun. So this will be the kaeda. So this is the keyword atas nilai buku. So when you see atas nilai buku, which kaedah are we talking about? When you see atas nilai or nilai buku, we are using this baki berkurangan. And when you see the question say, Bookman ikut atas cost. If it is atas cost, then which formula are we using? We're using the formula for kaedah garis lurus. Alright, so these two, you must differentiate them. Alright, it's different thing. Okay, so we have to use this formula. So the formula will be using your cost, tolak susut nilai terkumpul times kada times tempo masa. All right. So, anda dikendaki menyediakan berikut bagi tahun 2018 dan 2019. So let's calculate the susut nilai first. The susut nilai machine bagi 2018 right we have to calculate that. right so what is the formula the formula for atas nilai buku will be using your cost minus your snt what is snt snt means susu nilai terkumpul times your kada times the tempo all right Anna. okay now, what is the cost for question two? 48,000. Okay, 48,000. What is the SNT here? For 2018. Do we have SNT? The answer is no. Why? Because kita just beli the machine in 2018. So if you just beli the machine, maksudnya is not old machine. If it's just a new machine, meaning there is no susut nilai terkumpul. So the susut nilai terkumpul will be zero. All right. Only for those existing asset, bukan semasa, we have the SNT. Okay. If it's a new one, then definitely there's no SNT. We have to start calculate from now. All right. So times the kada will be 10%. Okay, how long? Bila kita beli? 1st of May. Okay, 1st of May. 2018. Bila kita tutup account? Pada tempo 
perekanan berakhir pada setiap 31 Disember. So, sampai 31 Disember 2018. So, berapa bulan dalam sini? Mei, Jun, Julai, August, September, Oktober, November, Disember. So, 8 bulan. So, what we're going to do is times 8. One year, there is how many months? 12 months. We divide over 2. Alright. So, you're actually getting 28,000. Because 48, sorry, 48,000 minus 0 equals to 48,000. So, 48,000 times 10% times 8 over 12. And you will get $3,200. Alright, so this will be the Susut Nilai Machine. SN means Susut Nilai Machine for 2018. Okay, now let's say you want to find what about 2019. Let's calculate it here first. 2019. What about 2019? So now the 2019, same, we're using the same formula. So what is the cost? The cost same forty eight thousand. Okay, but then do we have susut nilai terkumpu sekarang? Do we have SNT now? The answer is yes, because in twenty eighteen kita telah ada susut nilai for machine, which is three thousand two hundred. So in twenty nineteen, we will just bring forward the three thousand two hundred. Can you see it? Because what's SNT? SNT means you add up all the susut nilai yang ada. So sampai twenty eighteen. How much is the susut net terkumpu? Will be 3,200. So use 48,000 minus 3,200. Then you times the kada sama, 10%. Okay. Then now, how long for the tempo? So now we are doing for the 2019. So 2019 sekarang will be starting from after this date. The next year will be 1st January 2019. So you use, you use, you use, use. Sampai the end will be 31st December 2019. So how long is this? This is satu tahun, a full year. Okay, so when it is a full year, then you don't need to write out. Or if you want, you can times one. I already told you it's the same thing actually. All right, or you can just ignore it. Don't need to times one also can. So whenever it is full one year, satu tahun yang perno, then you don't have to write anything. Okay? But if it is just eight months like this one, because you believe by the first May, so you only use May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So you hanya guna lapan bulan saja. If you only use for eight months, then your depreciation, your susut nilai, hanya boleh dikira mengikut lapan bulan ini. Tapi when you go to 2019, the machine sudah kat situ mah. So you still use it from 1st January. Okay, so you, you're gonna, gonna, gonna sampai the end of the year to the 1st December. Then you sudah guna satu tahun. So when you use satu tahun, then your susut nilai pun perlu dikirakan menikut satu tahun. Are you guys clear? If yes, please give me a C in the chat box. So 48,000 minus 3,200, we get 44,800. And what is this 44,800? is actually your nilai buku. Okay, this 44,800 is your nilai buku. So use times, so you get 4,480. So we are using what kaedah? Kaeda baki berkurangan. Okay, now let's look at A. What are we supposed to do for A? A is to do a count susut nilai machine. Okay. So, your T lah. One, 
So this is account so nine machine. Nilai mesin terkumpul akau untung rugi. Okay, this akau untung rugi ada duit in T, but the last one is a PKK right. So as for the PKK, I will do it in the bentuk penyata. Okay, just to show you how it is. Uh, okay. Penyata. Penyata kedudukan kewangan. But then, please take note, uh, you have to do for two years. Uh, maksudnya, I have account untung rugi bagi tahun berakhir 31st. December 2018. And then. Here. And the one. For. 2019, two years now, right? Okay, then same goes to your PKK lah. By the 31st December 2018. Okay, this one later we, we adjust lah. Yeah, so let's focus on these two first. Account to suit machine and account to suit nilai machine. Eh, account to suit nilai terkumpul mesin. Okay, so um, um, start with twenty eighteen. Okay, twenty eighteen. All right, so. When you have a susut nilai machine, I told you a susut nilai machine is a belanja. Okay, if it is a belanja, memang where do you go to? You go to untung lagi. All right, and if it is a belanja, what do we do? Do we debit or we credit? We debit because of your a balik. The B is on the debit side. So, kita debit account susun nilai machine. Okay, so here will be, you don't use May. Ah. First, May is the date that you beli. Okay, tarik itu yang beli machine. Tapi when we calculate susun nilai, susun nilai is always calculate on the tempo perekanan berakhir. Meaning, let's say here is 31st, maksudnya you will be calculating on December 31st. As you can see, all the pelarasan berlaku pada akhir tempo perakunan. Okay, that's why always you put it on the last date and then here you record. Go into account, susut nilai terkumpul. Terkumpul mesin. How much is that? We already calculated 3,200. So when you debit your susut nilai machine, you have to credit. Credit what? Susut nilai terkumpul machine, which is this one. So December 31st. And the date must be the same, huh? just like how we did for our uh, ledger. And the amount of the same also. So here, from where? From susut nilai machine. So here's susut nilai machine. 3,200. Okay, this is for 2018. So after you've done this, uh, debit and credit, then we can close it. 
And for a consciousness machine, we send to where? I told you, susut nilai is a belanja belanja. Go to your account untung rugi. Therefore, here three thousand two hundred straight away imankan. And this one we go to account untung rugi. Here, same December thirty first. So when you credit, can you see now? I credit my susut nilai machine dengan account untung rugi. So in account untung rugi, I will have to. That be it. Three thousand two hundred. That must be same. And here you call it your uh sorry your susu nilai machine. The one. Okay. All right, so that is for 2018. Now, what about your Susu machine? I told you Susu Netokumpu machine, where to record your SNT, you go to your PKK. And if it's going to the PKK, maksud, we don't have to send to Untung Rugi. What do we do? We do HB and BB. All right, so you just close with HB and BB. So SNT, you just close. Tutu. Same three thousand two hundred. Baki HB. So HB to BB. Okay. So when there's HB, there must be a BB. So after the next date. So HB is on the last date of the year, December thirty first. So. For BB will be the next date after the 31st December. That will be 2019 January 1. So that will be your Baki Awa. And the amount is the same, lah, right? Which is 3,200. That's it. So after that, what do we record in our PKK for 2018? So if you remember... I told you how I did for this one is I book up three part. First one is the cost, the SNT, and the Nilai Buku. All right. So here we go. Indonesia, Indonesia, Indonesia. Okay, then here will be your uh, asset bukan semasa. Under your asset bukan semasa, what is this asset? Machine. So you just write machine. So what is the cost? The cost is 48000 What is the SNT? So can you say now? So you take from here, your SNT now, or you take the HB or BB is the same. So 3200 so here you have to bracket 3,200. Why we bracket? Because we have to minus it. So how much do you get? We get 44,800 for your Nilai Buku. So this is how you record in your PKK for December 31st, 2018. All right. So after that, you do the same way of recording. So now we go to 2019. So since you already got a constitution name machine, you don't have to book up another key account for Nilai machine. Huh? You just continue. So for 2019, uh, same thing. We're going to debit our uh, Susu Nilai machine on December 31st. I told you it's always the last date. Okay, The tempo pre number RQ, December 31st. So here, same, send it to Susun Nilai Tekumpu Machine. How much is it now? We already calculated 4480 for 2019. So you put 4480 you debit Susun Nilai Machine, and you have to credit your SNT. So here, December 31st. 
All right, from where? From Susut Nilai Machine. Okay, how much? 4,480. Okay, so that's it. So once done, you already debit and credit, then same thing, tutup again. So 4,480. Okay, send to your account untung rugi. So December 31st. So in, in your credit, maksudnya you have to buka your account untuk rugi bagi tahun berakhir 31st December 2019 and debit side. Got susut nilai machine. Why is it on the debit side? Because this is a belanja. If it is a belanja, it will be in the debit side of your account. So how much? 4,480. Okay, then what about your SNT? So SNT, same thing. You do HP and BB. So now, one line, double line. Add them up. 7680, 7680 on your debit side also. So this figure will be 7680. Lah. Okay, so this one is your Bakhti HB on December 31st. 2019. So when there's a HB, you must have a BB. January 1, Baki, BB, 7680. So do you know how we get this 7680? So this 7680 is the Susut Nilai Tekumpu machine for 2019. How do you get it? So one is 3,200. 3,200 is from last year, 2018. And then you add with this year, 2019 punya susut nyai machine. Is it not? 2018 punya 3,200 and 2019 punya 4,480. So when you add up, because this is a susut nilai terkumpu, ma, you have to kumpu everything together and then you get your jumlah 7680. So now you're at the Kumbu machine for 2019 year end is 7680. This 7680 will be recorded in your PKK for 2019. So your PKK by the 31st December 2019. Make sure you got your cost as anti nilai buku machine and your cost is the same at 48. Thousand ringgit, but for your SNT is no longer three thousand two hundred. All right, how much is it? It is seven thousand six hundred and eighty. Bam, and then so now your current nilai buku is forty thousand three hundred and twenty. So this is how you record for. Your susut nilai. So now you have to know where to record your susut nilai, where to record your SNT. All right. So even though let's say you're doing your account for 2019, so you can see that even though your susut nilai machine is 4480, but your SNT is not 4480, you have to use a 4480 add back to your last year's s and t then you get 7680 okay so this is our question definitely in your long question you will have susut nilai okay like they will ask you to do menyediakan account perdagangan dan untung rugi menyediakan penyata kedudukan kewangan all right so after they ask you to menyediakan they will give you a lot of susut nilai then you have to kirakan sendiri and you have to know where to put all this susut nilai dan susut nilai terkumpu. Okay, are you guys done? If yes, please type a D in the chat box if you are done. Okay, so now let's move on to question three. So what is question three? Question three, they give us a pertikan lengkapan cost. So this is a cost. 
This is uh, susut nilai terkumpul for lengkapan 8,000. Nah, maklumat tambahan. Leng lengkapan termasuk lengkapan bernilai 7,000 ringgit yang dibeli pada 1st April 2020. Please take note. Okay, this is beli pada 1st April 2020. Bila, when is our tempo perekonan berakhir? 31st December. So you can see it's different. So when it is not, definitely it's not up to one year. Alright, so if the tarik is different, maksudnya later we have to do time a portion. Alright, we have to uh, agikan and then we kira. Okay, and then here they say this is a susut nilai 10% atas nilai buku nilai. Buku means baki beku Rangan. We have to use this formula. Okay. So now, catatan pelarasan ke dalam jurnal am. So how do we record for this jurnal am? Okay. Now before that, let's do. The let's kira kan like how we did just now. We re we first we kira kan the susut nilai right? Okay, so same goes to this question. How much is the susut nilai, right? But then you have to know. Here they say the lengkapan termasuk lengkapan bernilai seven thousand yang baru dibeli pada first April twenty twenty seven thousand ringgit. So here you can make break down to two, A and B. B is a new one, lah, okay? The new one and the old one. Okay, how much is the new one yang baru dibeli on 1st April? 7,000. So the B is 7,000 ringgit. So if B is 7,000 ringgit, do we know how much is the A? Very easy. You just, just, you just use 20,000 minus 7,000 and you get how much? 13,000. Meaning the O lengkapan is 13,000. While the new lengkapan is 7,000. When you add them up, you get the jumlah of 20,000. Okay. So now, let's see how to do this. So here, I will put susut nilai lengkapan A. And then there is a susut nilai lengkapan B. Okay, let's clear for A first. So, A, so we are using what? Kaedah. Baki berkurangan. What is the formula for baki berkurangan? You use cost. What is the cost? Now, you don't use 20,000. Huh? We only use, we really break down to A and B. Okay, so for A, it's just 13,000 is the cost. Alright, so 13,000. If you use 20,000, then dia sudah termasuk 7,000 yang baru dibeli. I told you, when you baru dibeli pada 1st April, then you have to do the time a portion. You have the times. Berapa bulan yang diguna? Divide by jumlah bulan, which is 12. Alright, so here, 13,000. Okay, what is the SNT? The SNT is 8,000. So, you tolak 8,000. And whenever you see an S and T, so you need to compute the alarm your imbangan do it, meaning this S and T is actually from last year. That's why we have to calculate this year bunya susut nilai and then add back to last year bunya susut nilai to compute in order for us to get this year's S and T. All right, so I minus 8000, which is from last year. So after that, you times the percentage the kada which is 10% in this question so because this is a old uh, lengkapan okay meaning last 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 year sudah ada bunya so come to this year definitely you start from you guna dari the first january sampai 31st december so that will be 12 months already so when it is a 12 months you don't have to do anything lah. all right you don't have the times what la over what lah. Okay, you just straight away times 10%. You want, if you want to write extra, you can times one. 
times one equals to the same, right? Without the times one. So it's summer. So 13,000 minus 8,000 is your Nilai Buku 5,000 times 10%. So we get 500. So 500 is a susut Nilai for Lengkapan A. The old Lengkapan. Okay, then for B, this is a new Lengkapan, 7,000 ringgit. Okay. But then for new lengkapan, definitely there is no susun nilai terkumpul. Because kita belum guna in tahun uh, lepas mah. Correct or not? We just bought in 1st April. So 1st April 2020, then only we start to buat susun nilai daripada 1st April 2020 sampai 31st December 2020. Times 10%. How long? So April... May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So from April, 1st April sampai 31st December, berapa bulan? Sembilan bulan. So sembilan bulan over 12 months. That's it. So 7,000, 7,000 times 10% times 9 over 12. And we will get 725. So the O Susunilai, the O the Susunilai for the O asset, O Lengkapan is 500 plus the new Lengkapan Bunya Susunilai 525. Add them up. Then you get the jumla susut nilai bagi tahun 2020 just for this year. All right, so you can see the susut nilai lengkapan will be using the A plus B. So the A is 500 and the B is 525, and you will get 10. So this is the amount that we record in our account susut nilai in our account rugi in our penyata kudungan kewangan. But then how do we get this figure? You have to break them to the new, the old one and the new one. And then we have to calculate separately. Why we have to calculate separately? Because of the date. This one. I have the times 9 or 12. This one I don't need. Okay. Are you guys following? If yes, please type F in the chat box if you are following. Are you following? If yes, please type F. Okay. All right. So now you get your 1025. Same thing. You do your Pelarasan. Okay, so how do we do for the pelarasan? So whenever you see catatan pelarasan ke dalam journal, um, jurnal. So journal, um, eh, here normally is like tarik lah, right? Tarik, butiran, and then here debit credit lah. Debit, credit. Punya, put a bit. Yeah, maybe here. Okay. So let me draw the line. Side on side. Okay, so 2020, so I told you, 
Whenever you do pelarasan, must be on the last date of the temple perikanan. So, sini dia berakhir pada 31st December. So, you put 31st December. Okay. So, how? Susun nilai mah. Susun nilai, we debit or credit. Always debit your susun nilai. So, you susun nilai. This is lengkapan. So, debit your susun nilai lengkapan. So, whenever you debit your susun nilai lengkapan, you must credit it to your susun nilai terkumpu. Then, susun nilai terkumpu for what? Asset. For asset lengkapan. So, here you can say, merekod kan susut nilai lengkapan. That's it. How much? So, we calculated the total susut nilai for A and B is 1025. One debit, one credit. That's it. Okay, so this is how you record for the catatan pelarasan dalam jurnal am. So I that would be for B. B is the same thing, right? How you did for just now your ledger, you just book an account. Okay. So I have to do susunan susut nilai perabot and susut nilai terkumpu perabot. This lengkapan lah perabot. Should be lengkapan. Alright. Mistake. Should be account susut nilai lengkapan. Okay, we're doing for lengkapan. Huh? Account susut Nilai terkumpul lengkapan. Okay, so it's just the same thing. Twenty, 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 twenty. So, you debit your susun nilai lengkapan. Same on December 31st. Where do your susun nilai terkumpu lengkapan? Oops. How much? 1025. So, here I debit. I have to credit my SMT. Okay, then same thing to top susut nilai sent to your counting lagi. And then for your SNT, same thing, which PBB. Okay, but, 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 sorry, sorry. Forgotten that there is susut nilai terkumpu lengkapan. So, what does it mean? You have a baki awal, okay? Don't forget. So for S and T, we have a baki awal. This one, susunya terkumpul lengkapan 8,000. So this 8,000 is your baki awal from last year. Right? January 1, baki to B. So this is your baki awal. So then only you put this one. It will be your S and susunya lengkapan and credit your S and T here. So here, susut nilai lengkapan. One zero. Two five. So 
Maybe okay. December 31st. So then only you close it, HPPB. Nine zero two five. So this one, same nine zero two five. Baki Hanta Kabawa. December the first. When there's HP, there must be a PB. Same figure one zero two five. So this one zero two five will be your total susutni life from before. That's what we call SNT susutni to kumpu for twenty twenty. All right. This is for last year. This is for this year. And you go to C. Same thing. Yes. Your account untung rugi bagi tahun berakhir. This is for thirty first December. Which year? Twenty twenty. So can you see here I credit my susun nilai. So in my account rugi, I have to debit susun nilai learn one zero two five take from here. And then when for your D, I have to do PKK. So just same like what we've done just now. So it's like Malaysia, 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 the cost, the SNT, and the Nilai Buku. Okay, so the asset bukan semasa. So the asset bukan semasa, this is uh, the lengkapan. So for your lengkapan, how much is the cost? The cost is 20,000. So it's the same. Okay, the SNT now, you don't take 8,000. We take the latest now, the 9025 bracket. And zero two five, and then so your nilai buku will be using a twenty thousand minus nine thousand twenty five. You get one zero nine seven five. So this is your nilai buku for penyata kedudukan kedudukan keuangan. Pada 31st December 2020. That's it. Okay. Are you guys done? If yes, give me a D in the chat box. If you are done. So this is the answer for your question three. So make sure you have, it. you know, sometimes the question will ask this kind of question, you know. Uh, they will give you mix together with some old and new asset. Then you have to separate them. First thing, asing gun. And then you calculate using based on the formula that we learned. Okay. And then next is this question four. Okay. Question four. Butiran 
kenderaan bagi perniagaan Syafina adalah seperti berikut. Okay, so they give you first January 2020 to the first December 2020. So this is take note. This is a nilai buku. So nilai buku is meaning after you using your course minus your susut nilai terkumpul. Like this one lah nilai buku lah. Okay, so they give you figure for nilai buku. Normally they give you cost punya figure. Okay, now they give you nilai buku punya figure. Okay, you can see that from 2020 to from first January. Sampai 31st December, there is a increase. Tambah. Okay. So, what happens? So, pada tahun 2020, peniagaan Syafina telah membeli kenderaan yang baru bernilai 15 ribu. 15,000. Okay. Kirakan susut nilai bagi kenderaan Perniagaan Syafina pada 31st December 2020. So, the baki awa for SNT is 10,000. So, how do we do this? Okay. They give you the baki awa 20,000. They give you a baki akhir 31,000. And then they tell you that kita beli uh, kenderaan yang baru for 15,000. So, this one is just like while you're calculating your cost jalan. Remember how to calculate your cost jalan? You use your inventory awal. Correct? Inventory awal. Plus your belian. Lepas tu, tolak your inventory akhir. Then you get the cost jalan. So now, for this formula, now we want to find the susut nilai kenderaan. So same thing, what we're going to use is we use the baki awal. So here, the awal will be what? The awal is 20,000. Correct not? 20,000. Plus, belian meaning apa yang kita beli lah, right? Belian. Sekarang kita beli kenderaan yang baru which is 15000 okay here 15000 okay minus your aq your baki aq so your baki aq is 31000 in this question so you have to see yeah? 1st january and 31st december 20000 and 31000 so our 20000 aq you have to minus 31000 Okay, so how much do you get? You use the 20,000 plus 15,000 minus 31,000. And you get how much? 4,000. So meaning there is a 4,000 of susut nilai. That's why kita punya IQ is just 31,000. Because by right, if kita ada baki awal of 20,000, Plus, apa yang kita beli is 15,000. It should be how much? It should be 35,000. Right apa yang ada, tambah apa yang telah dibeli, dibeli, it should be 35,000. Tapi, dia punya baki akhir is just 31,000. So, you use your 35,000 minus 31,000, you get 4,000. Maksudnya, there is a susut nilai of 4,000. That's why the nilai buku jatuh kepada 31,000. Right? So, this is the one of the formula. You see, there is a penilaian semula. Using your baki awal asset, tambah belian lesa balu, tolak baki akhir asset. Then you get your susut nilai. This is not a susut nilai terkumpul. This is just a susut nilai. Okay, you guys following? If yes, please type a F in the chat box. Okay. Alright. So then... Let's do A. Question for A. Okay. 
So for A, okay, but before that, how do we get this answer? So you get the susut nilai for kenderaan. Okay, by using the 20,000 plus apa yang baru dibeli, 15,000, tolak the baki RQ, which is 31,000. So you get RM, 4,000. So this 4,000 is your susut nilai for this year. Okay, then only we do A. So for A, we have to do the catatan dalam uh, lah. So it's actually the same thing. Okay, so you can see it's the same. Like tarik butil, debit, credit, year, year is 2020 or so. Ringgit, ringgit Malaysia, December 31st. Then we must debit, always debit your susut nilai because susut nilai is a belanja. So now you change that. So this is the susut nilai for kenderaan. So you put susut nilai, kenderaan. And then we always credit to the susut nilai terkumpu. So for here, we susut nilai terkumpu kenderaan. And then we record kan susut nilai kenderaan. How much is that? We did calculate it. 4,000. So you debit 4,000, credit 4,000. So that B. Susun nilai kenderaan dan account susun nilai terkumpu kenderaan. Very easy. I think you should know how to do it by now. Isn't it? So, firstly, draw out your T account. Okay, and they already given you S and T. This is the baki awal, so you know what to do, right? For your baki awal. Okay, so here, this is your account susut nilai kenderaan. Account susut nilai kenderaan. RM. RM. Okay. All right. So always debit susu nilai. So December thirty first susu nilai terkumpu kenderaan four thousand debit then your credit. Eight, but don't forget. I just reminded you guys there is a baki awal. So you can see the baki BB is always on the credit side for your susut nilai terkumpu because susut nilai terkumpu is something like a liability. So it's on the credit side. You have to minus off from your asset. So how much is a baki awal? 10,000, so you put 10,000. So, after that, we can close it how we did just now. Double line, 4,000. So, send, so soon you send to? Yes, account don't rugi. Then, December 31st. And for your SNT, because it is to be shown on the PKK, and therefore we do HBN BB. Baki HBN BB. Sixteen thousand, fourteen thousand 
by T H B is then with the reverse H B then send to back to T B. 14,000, 2020, January 1. All right, then C, Chadatan and Kong Nuru Yidan, PKK. So it's the same thing. Okay, so C. December 2020. So, memang, your account will be, and here we really query your Susan Lima. So, here will be debit. Lah. Hold on. Okay, then for your. PKK Okay, now for this, uh For this, we can actually straight away put like that. Yeah, let me show you. You can just straight away write your kendaraan. How much is it? You know it is. 31,000. Correct or not? Is it 31,000? Why we know it's 31,000? Because they already tell us, ma, your kenderaan nilai buku by the 31st December 2020 is 31,000. So you can just straight away put 31,000 because this is already a nilai buku. Unless this is a cost, then your cost has to toll out your S and T in order to get your nilai buku but this is already in nilai buku and they already given you the amount for 31st december 2020 and now we are doing the pkk for 31st december 2020 so it's the same date and so this is the baki here 30 31000 for the kendaraan is it so this is your answer for question four All right, you guys done? If yes, please type done or D in the chat box. Okay, so really done for susut nilai. Okay, susut nilai done, susut nilai terkumpu. So actually there's another number four, but then this is hardly uh, tested in exam. Lah. Okay, so this is actually using a nilai scrap. So they will give you a cost. They tell you the nilai scrap and the usia guna. So something like uh, they tell you the cost is uh, maybe... 40,000, and then they, they will tell you like the knee line scrap is uh, 
5,000. Nilai scrap means um, after you use and you want to sell it, you can sell it for 5,000 ringgit. Okay, so that's something like Nilai scrap, meaning at the end, the value, if you want to sell it, if it is burned, you, you no longer use it, okay, it still have the value of 5,000 ringgit. That's why it's called Nilai scrap. Use guna means how long can you use? Okay, so they will give you like the usia guna. You can use it for, let's say, uh, let's say, um, four, five, okay, let's say five years. Okay. So, give you an example. Let's say there is a machine, a machine. Let's say a printer, lah, printer. Let's say you buy a printer for forty thousand, and then they tell you that this printer can be used for five years only. After five years, then the printer we cannot use the printer anymore. All right, because uh, rosa after five years. Okay, so the printer only have the usia. You see, not the age. Of use, usage, usage age, or you call it a useful life of lima tahun sahaja. So after five years, let's say after five years, okay, because the printer, there are a lot of like software, uh, hardware in the printer. So if you sell it, you can actually sell it for 5,000 ringgit. That's why it's called a nilai apabila described gun. Okay, or English, we call it a scrap value. All right, so with that being said, so when you want to calculate a susut nilai for every year, so that tahun, you just have to use the 40,000 that is given, which is the cost, minus how much can we get at the end of the use guna? 5,000, so you minus out 5,000. And then only you divide by Total usiguna. How many bulan? Oh, not bulan, but tahun. How many bulan? Oh, pula. How many tahun? Okay, it's tahun. Ah. How many tahun? Berapa tahun yang boleh digunakan? So, the soalan will tell you one. Okay, so let's say lima. So, 40,000 minus 5,000 equals to 35,000. So, meaning this 35,000 akan disusut nilaikan among these five years, lima tahun ini. So, every tahun, you know, will be 7,000 of susut nilai. So this is how we get this 7,000, by using this formula. Okay? So, if you want, you can just memorize this formula using cost minus susut nilai, scrap, divide by usiguna. So, if the question already come out, they will share with tell you like which one, the cost is how much, the nilai scrap is how much, and usiguna is how much. Then you just Use this formula, then you get the answer for the susut nilai. Alright, so after that, we have done susut nilai. So now let's look at um, the next part. For C, A, B, C, D, this one is C, right? So now B in donkey. Ah, okay. So just now after after that, just now was susut nilai. So now when we come to 8D, another part, we will be focusing on pelupusan asset bukan semasa. So what is pelupusan? Lupus. Or we in English we call a dispose. To dispose, okay, or to sell. Ah, okay, now you get what it means, right? Okay, so pelupusan asal bukan semasa means you jualkan atau you 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 buangkan, okay, meaning you no longer use the asset bukan semasa. That's when we have to record for pelupusan. Asset bukan semasa. So here I already given you the sebab. 
Oh, ada sebabnya. Aset sudah tiada nilai pada akhir usia guna. You remember this word? We just talk about it just now, the usia guna. So let's say, come back to the printer example. Let's say the printer only have five years of usia guna. Maybe after five years, dia sudah tak ada nilai. You cannot use it anymore. You cannot use the printer to print any paper anymore. So I have to either sell it or you throw it into the recycle bin or whatever. But then once you throw it, you stop using it, we have to record it as a pelupusan aset bukan semasa. All right? So another sebab, aset yang lama ditukar dengan aset yang baru, or maybe you think that, oh, it's time to use, to, to change your phone, for example. Okay, even though your phone is still functioning very well, but maybe because of new technology, we no longer use 4G, for example, we have to use 5G sekarang. So, asset yang lama ditukar dengan asset yang baru. So, when you change a new asset, the old one, what do we do with the old one? We have to dispose it or you sell it. It's the same thing. But then as long as you either you, you, you destroy it, you musnahkan, you buangkan, atau you jualkan, as long as you stop using it, we have to book out an account, manggil account pelupusan. Okay, so there's a second sebab. The third reason, asset musnah disebabkan bencana alam. For example, right, recently, not really reason, but quite reason, a few months ago, I think like some part of uh, Malaysia is still facing this problem where ada banzil, isn't it? Right, um, heavy rain and then you know, all the houses, all the cars. But what happened? Dimusnahkan due to bencana alam. Alright? Or you, in some country, sometimes they have earthquake. Isn't it? So when you earthquake, the whole building get destroyed. So a building is an asset or your car get destroyed or some, what happens is like maybe a car is on fire and it burns, you know? So the, all this asset musna, you no longer can use it. Correct or not? You cannot use the car anymore. So we have to send it into account pelupusan. Lastly, asset di job. So very simple lah. Okay, when you job kan, then you stop using it. So you have to lupus kan. Are you guys clear? If yes, please type one in the chat box, please. Please type one if you are following. Okay, all right. So next, so I already summarize six steps. Okay, enam langkah untuk melupuskan aset bukan semasa. Can you see, is aset bukan semasa. We are not talking about aset semasa. Why? Because we don't need to lupus aset semasa. Is that some also, apa contoh? Ada uh, bank, cash. Your, your, your cash means your tunai lah, right? Okay, do you think we can lupuskan your, your, your money? Ah? It cannot lah, right? Your money is really money ma. Alright? So, only like asset bukan semasa. What are the asset bukan semasa? Perabot lah, uh, lengkapan lah. Kenderaan. All this is something that we use. Okay, so when you can use, meaning there is also a time where you can no longer use it. Correct or not? Alright? So just like your phone, you can use your phone. So for, a, for it to be used by you, meaning there is a probability that your phone cannot be used by you in the future. Meaning, it will be rosa. But your money cannot rosa one, now, right? Your money, let's say you got 10 ringgit in your bank account. For the next 10, 20, 30 years, the 10 ringgit is still 10 ringgit. It's just that maybe other inflation got inflation. Meaning, with the 10 ringgit, you can buy lesser and lesser thing. Maybe 10 years ago, with 10 ringgit, you can buy 10 bungkus nasi lemak. But then, in today, with 10 ringgit, how many nasi lemak boleh can you buy with? Cannot, like not much. Maybe two, two pack, depending on what kind of nasi lemak you're talking about. If you're talking about 
Nasi lemak dengan ayam goreng are definitely 10 ringgit sudah gone for just one, one pack. Isn't it? Okay, but then that is inflasi. That is another topic that you, if you take, uh, we are taking economics, then you learn about all this like inflation, inflasi, deflasi, and so on. Okay, but then in accounting, we are more towards to practicality where we just record. Okay, now for your side, it's just recording. So when money comes in, you record money comes in. But then we don't record about all this inflation and so on. That will be for the economic side of studying. All right. So here, when money comes in, you record debit. When money goes up, you credit. When your asset bukan semasa comes in, you debit your asset bukan semasa. But then when your asset bukan semasa dijualkan, keluar, we don't share with credit our asset bukan semasa. We have to credit, send into our account pelupusan. That is the difference. Okay. So you see, so langkah melupusan aset bukan semasa. So let's say you, you, you nak jualkan your aset bukan semasa. The first step, you have to buka something called account pelupusan aset bukan semasa. Alright, so after you buka, so what you do next? Second thing is, you pindahkan aset bukan semasa to yang account yang kamu tadi buka. Account pelupusan aset bukan semasa. And also, Stated the debit and credit function for you. Is it so? What you're gonna do is you debit your asset bukan, uh, sorry, you debit your pelupusan and you credit your asset bukan semasa. The basu you kirakan SNT, SNT means the susu nya terkumpul. Is it is linked back to what we have studied before? So if you skip part 8C, which is a susu nila that susu nya terkumpul, then how are you gonna do for this part? Because you still have to kirakan SNT. Okay, for the asset bukan semasa. Step 4, you pindahkan susut nilai terkumpul itu into your uh, pelupusan asset bukan semasa. Lepas tu, you rekodkan penerimaan tunai daripada jualan asset bukan semasa. Because when you jual, you akan menerima wang. Correct or not? Okay, lastly, you have to wujudkan is it the untung atau rugi. Okay, if I tell you like that, definitely you tak faham. Alright, so Best is, let's go through question one together. Okay. So, Injil Logan membeli Amari dengan harga 7,000 ringgit pada 1st July 2019. Susut nilai perabot telah ditetapkan dengan kadar 10% setahun, 10 setahun atas kos. So, when you see atas kos, this is susut nilai mengikutkan kaedah garis lurus. Alright, what is the formula for kaedah garis, garis lulus? Cos terus darab dengan kadar times the percentage. Alright, you don't have to minus the SMT. Okay, pada 31st December 2020, Encik Logan telah melupuskan semua perabot tersebut dengan harga RM6,100. What is this 6100 Meaning this 6100 is the harga jualan. We sell our, kita melupus, we sell our almari, we sell our perabot dengan harga RM6,100. And check the lah, dibankkan. Okay? So, tempo perkenaan berakhir pada setiap 31st December. Anda dikendaki merekodkan perupusan perabot dalam jenaah. Okay. Alright. So, now, by doing this, we also want to know Adakah kita untung atau kita rugi for this penjualan? Okay, very simple. Mah. Let's say you 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 have a phone. If you want to sell your phone on carousel, definitely you have to see a adakah saya untung atau saya rugi. You cannot just sell you sell even though you get five hundred ringgit, but then. You would think, eh, if saya tapak saya menerima lima ratus ringgit ini, adakah saya untung atau rugi? Okay, so this one will based on our nilai buku. If our nilai buku is just three hundred ringgit, nilai buku means after you use your cost, tolak your susu nilai tu kumpul because every year your your phone. You go down, you depreciate. Akan susun nilai, jatuh nilai. 
Okay, let's say sampai 300 ringgit. And then, supposedly you can sell it for, the market price is just 300 ringgit, but you can sell it for 500 ringgit. Meaning, there is a untung of 200 ringgit. So, meaning this 200, we call it as a untung atas pelupusan. Okay? So, let's say, if saya jual dengan 100 sahaja, tapi your nilai buku is 300 ringgit. Maksudnya, there is a negative 200. So, a negative 200 tells you it is a rugi atas pelupusan. Alright? So, it is very important for us to calculate the nilai buku. How much is the nilai buku? Then only we compare with the harga jualan, which is 6,100. Because here, they only give us the cost. This is a cost 7,000 ringgit. Okay, so I have to calculate this S and T. So after that, I have to use my cost minus my S and T to get my nilai buku. All right, but then here, okay, let's take up your workbook, not your workbook, your notebook. Okay, let's do question one together. And then this one, they want us to do journal arm. Okay, so journal arm lah. Journal arm. So journal arm, you must have what? You must have tarik, betilan, and so on. Okay, one, two, three. For year 20, when we sell it, uh, by the 31st December 2020. Okay, 2020, December 31st. All right, but before that, let's keep it kind. How much is the susut nilai? The kumpu. Okay, so you see, ah, uh, Inche Logan membeli Amari dengan harga 7,000. So the cost is how much? The cost is 7,000. All right, cost is 7,000. By the 1st July 2019. Okay, so when do we start using this Amari? From 1st July. 2019. And when do we sell? We sell on 31st December 2020. So now, if you want to find our susut nilai terkumpu, meaning I have to find first find my susut nilai for 2019. Correct now? Because I use like 2019 and 2020. Ma. So let's find from 2019 first. So this 2019 is actually from when? From 1st July 2019 sampai tempo aku is when? 31st December 2019. Right? So meaning 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 6 months. We only use for 6 months in 2019. So use a cost. This is Garis Luru. So it's 3 away times 10%. And then times six months, six over 12. And you get how much? 350. Okay, that is for Susut Nilai for 2019. Okay, what about Susut Nilai for 2020? Okay, so definitely after after thirty first December twenty nineteen, you can start from first January twenty twenty, and we're gonna use it until when? When do we sell? We sell on thirty first December twenty twenty. So sampai thirty first December twenty twenty. Alright, so use seven thousand. Use back the cost times ten percent. 
And how long? From 1st January 2020 December 31st December 2020 is one full year. When it is one full year, don't need to do a portion, right? So 7,000 times 10%, you get 700. So how much is your SNT? So my SNT will be using my 350 plus 7,000. And you will get 1050. So this is your So let's say if you want to know about your Nilai Buku, how much your Nilai Buku? You use your cost minus your SNT. So meaning. Use your cost seven thousand minus how much one zero five zero, and then your nilai buku will be seven thousand minus one zero five zero. You get five nine five zero. So your nilai buku is five nine five zero. But then you sell for nine thousand one hundred. So if it is five nine five zero, is your nilai buku. But you can sell for 6,100 ringgit, meaning there is a untung of how much? Untung of 150 ringgit. That's it. All right, all right. Okay, so let's see. How do we record in this journal arm? So, first thing first, remember I told you you have to book out account pelupusan. So, after we get an account pelupusan, because you sell, ma. When you sell your asset, okay, meaning my asset go out. If my asset go out, meaning I have to credit my asset. What account is this? Account parabola. El Marima account parabola. So I have to credit my parabola. Okay, how much is the cost? 7,000 ringgit. So you credit 7,000 ringgit. And when I credit the asset, I send to where? It's sent to the account called account per lupusan perabot. Okay, so if we are selling a kenderaan, then you send to where? Perlupusan kenderaan. Okay, so here, when you record, you say, pinta perabot per account perlupusan perabot. Ah, like that. So debit 7,000 also, same. So you take the cost uh, from your parabot. Okay. Then the next thing, you already calculated the susu niya to kumpu ma, 1,050. So I have to take out from the s and and send to pelupusan parabot. Okay. So when I take out, normally when my SNT bertamba, I credit my SNT. Remember not? Just now, all the SNT, when they bertamba, I memang credit my SNT. Okay, but then now, when you take out, meaning my SNT will go down. When you go down, meaning I have to debit my SNT. So here, I debit my SNT per boat. Or don't, don't be lazy. Lah, okay, so susut nilai. The gum bu parabola. Okay, how much is that? You calculated just now. You jumlahkan one zero five zero. So then I have to credit. Send to where? Send to pelupu san parabola. So here same thing. You pinta susut nilai. The kumpu perabot ke account pelupusan perabot. So debit one zero five zero, credit one zero five zero. So when you look, see ah, buka account. So this is when you're doing a ledger lah, right? 
Okay, but then if you are yeah, using journal arm, so you don't need to book a leisure one, right? So you straight away pin the, your asset bukan semasa to your account pelupusan asset bukan semasa. So how? So you see, I debit my pelupusan and credit my account asset bukan semasa. I credit my perabot. So the second step, tadi already kira kan? Okay, so after you kira, you have to pin the SNT to your pelupusan. So I debit my account SNT. You see, I debit my SNT perabot and credit into my account pelupusan perabot. Is it? So number one is your cost, your perabot. Number two will be your SNT. Then the third one, you record berapa yang you terima. Okay? And see, how much yang kita terima? Kita terima 6,100 ringgit because this is the harga jualan. When you sell for 6,100, meaning money comes in as 6,001. When money comes in, what do we normally do? We debit our bank because money comes in. And you can see that, check to the bank time. So you debit your bank, 6,100 ringgit. So when you debit your bank, where do we credit? We credit same thing. You face, you link it with pelupusan. Perabot. So no matter what happens, is it always deal with perupusan perabot, perupusan perabot, perupusan perabot. Okay, so credit six thousand one hundred ringgit. So what do you write here? This is actually a yumana rima wang daripada perupusan perabot. All right, then lastly, after you done this one, you done, you really did this one, did this one, we did debit bank and credit per person, as a bukan samasa, then we now can record, is it a untung or rugi? Is it? So we recalculated what? Okay, it is a untung. So if it's a untung, remember, untung is a hasil. Rugi is a belanja. So based on your abalim, where is hasil at? Hasil is always on the credit side. Therefore, if it is a untung, then you have to credit it. Okay. Another way, let's say you don't do all these things. How do we know if it is a untung or rugi? Very easy. Okay. So now what we're going to do is you look at all your perusan, perlupusan perabot account. Okay, we only look at pelupusan perabot. Okay, I already highlighted. Okay, so meaning there is a debit of pelupusan perabot, 7,000. Credit, 1,050 for pelupusan perabot and 6,100 of credit. So you add them up. You add this figure up. When I say add up, Meaning, debit side you add up, credit side you add up. So for debit side, punya pelupusan perabot only one lah, 7,000. Okay. Then for credit side is how much? You use 1,050 plus 6,100. Correct not? For credit side. So you can see that the credit side is a little bit besar. So you imagine it like you are doing a ledger. So if credit side is 7,150, Meaning the debit side should be same lah, 7,150 or so lah. But then we only got 7,000. So how do we make it 7,150? Meaning I have to add one more 150 here. Make sense or not? So, and this one we must call it a pelupusan perabot. See, so now this one also become so 7000 plus 150, it becomes 7150 also. So it becomes imbang. Is it not? So this is how you get this figure. So after you get this figure, so credit, credit must be for the hasil, hasil here will be for untung atas, untung atas apa apa. Okay, so untung atas here will be perlu pusan. 
150. So because debit and credit must be the same, right? So 150, 150. So at the end, it's the same. 150, we recalculated 150 for Uto. So here you can see record gun. Record gun untung atas pelupusan berapa. That's it. So this is how you can get this thing by doing a genome. So you can see one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. So it's really summarized in this Lanka Lanka. So if you forget, just go back to here and check why debit, credit, which one, credit, which one debit. All right, are you guys done? If yes, please type a D in the chat box, please. Okay, so now let me give you homework first. Okay, so your homework for today will be page one two two. Okay, one two two is you are you are supposed to do all objective question lah for about six. All right, so a long time never do circle circle questions A B C D A B C D. So now we have to do it. And then page 196, do question 16. Page 198, do question 20, question 21, and question 22. So this 20, 21, 22 is the susut nilai and susut nilai the kumpu questions. All right, so this is your homework. Okay, are you guys? Done, Note, noting it down. If yes, please type noted in the chat box and then you can leave. All right, so see you guys next class and take care. Bye-bye.